Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I will be talking about fragrances that are good to wear to the beach, but I decided to challenge myself and do fragrances that don't smell like the beach, don't smell like suntan lotion, um, don't have salt, I don't have pina colada smell, none of those that I would usually talk about when talking about the beach. So I'm gonna stay away from beach scents because let's face it, when we go to the beach, we end up smelling like the beach. We end up smelling like the ocean, like the sand, and we wear suntan lotion, so we smell like suntan lotion. So I figured why wear fragrance that has the same scents if you're gonna experience them anyway while being at the beach. So before we get started, I wanna welcome you all if you're new. Welcome, if you're coming back, welcome back. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please hit the like button and activate that notification bell. So without further ado, let's get into this video. The first fragrance that's perfect to wear to the beach is the Vanille Exclusive by Mancera. And um, this fragrance is vanilla, osmanthus, peach, and it has jasmine and some flower notes, but most prominent notes in this are the peach, the osmanthus, and vanilla. It smells like a delicious vanilla peach cake. And it's so refreshing and so yummy. And it's not cloying, it has a little bit of a spice to it. I think it would be perfect to wear to the beach. The next fragrance that I would love to wear to the beach is the Elixir de Merveille by Hermes. And this fragrance is so interesting. It's complex. It smells like your skin when it gets warmed up by the sun. But, and I know that will happen when you're in the sun, but this gives it a special twist. This is amber, this is Peru balsam, vanilla, sugar, sandalwood, patchouli, caramel, oak, tonka bean, orange peel, and cedar. So you get this zesty, a little spicy and sweet goodness. And this fragrance is very sultry, very exotic. It's very transportive. It almost takes you to like some exotic locations. I absolutely love this scent. The scent is gorgeous. And I think wearing this to the beach will just elevate your beach game. The next beach friendly fragrance is I Love Love by Moschino. It's from their Cheap and Chic collection. And this is another like fruity, zesty, delicious yumminess. This reminds me a lot of Dolce & Gabbana, like blue, intense, the intense version more so than the original. This has red currant, lemon, rose, sugar cane, and it's just really crisp and refreshing. You smell that lemon, it comes through at all times. It's like a thirst quencher. Just having this on makes you want to drink less because it's so refreshing. And this is a good one to throw in your bag and you're good to go. Another great fragrance to wear to the beach is in your one in my collection. And this is Nalong by Lalique. This is a watery fragrance. It's water lily, it's narcissus. It's blueberry and lotus praline. It's not extremely sweet. It has some sweetness and ozonic type of feel to it. So it's very light and airy and perfect for that beach day. It'll smell delicious and uh, you'll enjoy your day wearing this. The next fragrance is also a newer one in my collection. It's the Ellie Saab and White Le Parfum. And this one is so good, you guys. Oh, so good. So this smells like pineapple. There's no pineapple note in this. This is actually red berries, orange blossom, peach, jasmine, patchouli, amber, and tola balsam. I am mostly getting patchouli 
and pineapple. The pineapple just gives it that delicious, yummy summer vibe. And um, I think it's a perfect scent to wear to the beach. I think this is great. And it's another one of those not your typical beach scent. Another one that I think is perfect to wear to the beach is the Amouage Sunshine, which I have in the travel size here. Mm. And this smells like sun-drenched apricots with a hint of white tobacco. I love the scent and it's an addictive scent. It's very light. It's not too sweet. It's very light, very sunny smelling. If the sun had a scent, I think it would smell like a combination of these two. This one that has ambery, warm skin-like accord to it. And this one that has that sweet, warm apricot. And together, I think the sun would smell this way. And um, this one is just perfect for that beach day because it stays close to the skin. It's not gonna offend anyone. It doesn't have much of a sillage. It doesn't have much of a projection. It's a skin scent and um, you'll smell it on yourself throughout the day and you'll like it. It'll make you happy. So this is a Moage Sunshine. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope to see you back here soon. Thank you.